Hi makeup friends, this is my Sasha review and swatch video for you all. I know you have been waiting for this for a very long time to see how the swatches look on my skin tone and all of that. So uh, Sasha has come out with the Intense Matte Lip Velvets. This is the packaging, this is what it looks like. There are 16 shades in the entire collection and I own, I personally own 10 of them. I did not initially set out to own that many, but it is amazing. And the shades are so fantastic, so different, so pigmented, so unique, so beautiful. Um, I am wearing one of the shades today. This one is in Leading Lady. So I will have swatches closer to the end of the video for you guys to check out just to see how all the shades look on my skin tone. So I'm just going to speak to you about the product itself. Now these um, intense matte lip velvets can be purchased from the Sasha Image Centers or they can be purchased from Pennywise. It, they are a little cheaper if you buy them in Pennywise. They it cost $45 in Pennywise. And I recently, like a few days ago, went to pick up the last shade that I wanted in a Sasha Image Center. And I believe it costed me like $48.50. It was $50 at a point in time. It was $55. But now it is $48.50. Now, these... These liquid lipsticks are uh, a formula that I honestly can say I don't think that I have come across a formula like this before. These um, liquid lipsticks, the formula is so good, it does not flake, it does not get patchy, it does not get messy. Now, so I have tried other liquid lipsticks, for instance, like the Ellie Girl liquid lipsticks, like the Colourpop first batch of liquid lipsticks that I have tried, and those were terrible. They were very, very flaky. If you would eat with the Ellie Girl one or eat with the first set of Colourpop one, you would start to get these flakes coming into your mouth. It would be all over your lips. People will start looking at you like when you're out, like if you're crazy, because it looks gross. Now... The formula on these, I'm just going to show you the applicator. This one, the shade here that I'm showing you is Give It To Me. I believe this is probably the lightest nude that they have. So this is what the applicator looks like. It is a very nice doe foot applicator. You do get a good amount of product coming off on the brush. Now it is just enough. It, I feel like it, it knows how much to dispense because the amount that comes out on the brush is just enough to give you an even application of your entire lip. Now these are so full color and so pigmented that you don't even need to do a second pass. One pass will do. It will cover your entire lips, but just for the color to look even more even, I will sometimes apply two layers. I will do one, sometimes I will do two. It depends on my mood. But the texture of these, it's a very, very moussey, a moussey texture. Let me just give you a swatch on my hand. It is a very moussey texture. And these dry relatively quickly. I would say within 10 to 20 seconds, these are already dried. Now, something I have realized with these is that when you put them on and you lay down the creamy, moussey, it just it sits so nicely it feels so comfortable now these are not a hundred percent budge proof liquid lipsticks these will come off if you eat they will come off if you drink now the entire thing is not going to come off you will get some fading on the inside of your mouth which is very normal with a liquid lipstick now these when you touch it they don't transfer that way even if you kiss they don't transfer that way if you do drink from a straw it will have evidence of a liquid lipstick on the straw if you do eat it will come off on your fork it will come off you might get some on your food but it it is so comfortable you don't even care it's so comfortable you don't even care that you have to like reapply and put a little bit in the center when i'm going out i just take it with me in my handbag and i just reapply to the center you don't even need to cover your entire lips anymore 
the formula on these is something that I have never come across it is so 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 comfortable now when I wear liquid lipstick I usually would put a creamy lipstick beneath it or a chapstick beneath it I use Burt's Bees chapstick now with these I don't even have to put on anything they are that comfortable they are slightly drying but nothing as compared to the other liquid lipsticks that I have tried these are so 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 comfortable now they do look they do kind of go into the lines of your mouth but they look good they look really really good I really really love these I would highly highly recommend you, you you guys to try these out they are definitely worth it for the price I would say that Sasha has really got the formula down perfectly so comfortable so full color so pigmented so amazing so you know I just love so I would definitely recommend you guys to try these I'm going to try on the 10 um, different shades for you guys to see it on me and the only reason I don't normally do lip swatch videos but I am willing to do the swatches of these because they are so comfortable and easy to remove that is one thing that I look for as well sometimes when you have on a liquid lipstick you have to tug and you have to pull and you have to scrub and these if I take a baby wipe right now and take this off it will come off it's so amazing isn't that amazing it won't come off like that but if I take a little baby wipe right now it will come off and come off smoothly I don't have to tug or anything these liquid li liquid lipsticks 10 out of 10 fantastic job Sasha so I hope you guys have gotten enough insight as to the uh, on on the lip liquid lipstick and what I think if I have missed anything that you would like to know about it, please ask me down below and I will reply to you if there's anything that else that you want to know about the liquid lipstick. Please um, ask me down below and I will answer you guys. So this one that I'm wearing right now is called Leading Lady. Now I will say I do find the packaging because it is frosted it is a little misleading so what I would suggest is when you go to purchase it definitely swatch it on your hand and see if that is a shade that you intend to get because I do think they are a little misleading because of the frosty packaging so this is leading lady mm -hmm. 